This is just such a blessing and so exciting to, you know, come back to my own high school and have my jersey retired. And, and you know, everyone came in here and had so much support and, and uh, a great applause from also the student body. It's probably the biggest thing of all. I mean, you know, having an opportunity to pursue, first of all, pursue basketball, then all of a sudden you have an opportunity to get your jersey retired to your high school. It's just such an honor, man. It's, it's, it's probably the best of all. I think you just get overcome a little bit with emotion because there were so many happy memories. But behind all of that was the hard work and the struggle. And uh, Corey's tremendous loyalty to our school, our program, and to me personally, uh, it, it just really leaves an indelible mark on you. Your high school coach is so proud of you. What's your relationship like with him? Oh, me and Quinn are the best, man. He is, you know, I can't stress anything about him, but. Um, what type of person he's been to me, as well as my family. Um, uh, he was the backbone by, by, you know, pushing me each and every day to be the best player I can be. He's the only player in my career until this past year that used to bring me a Christmas gift at home every year. He would personally deliver a, per, a Christmas gift. And, and since then, we've always stayed close, have talked to each other sometimes episodically, a month here, a month there, might go by. Have you seen or coached any players that resemble Corey's game? Uh, never. Uh, I, I don't think in the history of Illinois basketball there might have been more accomplished players in terms of points or whatever, but I don't think there's ever been an athlete who, who really has done what he has done. Corey had always taken care of himself. He didn't have any vices. You know, he was not somebody that got into to trouble in any way outside of uh, a basketball. He didn't drink or smoke or swear or anything. He, he'd drink fruit juice. He wouldn't even drink pop. So that was who he was. I have to ask you, what is this Superman movie you're talking about? <laughs> he used to wear his jersey underneath his, his uniform. It started as a freshman because he was always afraid he'd forget his jersey at home. So he'd show up at the games, and he was always very forgetful. Uh, and he would wear his jersey, and in the locker room, just like he was, you know, Superman himself, he would take his clothes off, and underneath there would be his Fenwick jersey, and we'd say, well, go play like Superman tonight. And many times he would. I used to wear my, uh, my jersey under my under my school clothes, but he wasn't supposed to tell anybody that, but uh, I did, you know, because I didn't want to lose my jersey, leave it around. So, you know, if we had game days, I have it on. I have it on the whole day.